Island communities, the ecosystems, the people and the livelihoods are some of the most vulnerable to climate change. In the Arctic and in the mountain regions, they are experiencing climate change the first and the worst. But it is fortunate that they actually have a lot of resilience too. So to ensure that they not only survive but also thrive, we need to build on those aspects, those strengths, in order to deal with climate change. Imagine if we were able to work with communities and their peoples in order to ensure that the livelihoods, the ecosystems, all survive and thrive under climate change. That is what we are trying to do in this project. In the ArcAlpNet project, we compare the community of Longyearbyen on Svalbard with the three communities in the gotthard Sulselva region of Switzerland, Andermatt, Sidrun and Dissentis. Both regions are experiencing climate change at twice the rate of the world average and are economically dependent on tourism. What we want to do in the project is fundamentally science. That means we're going to get original data and we're going to ensure that we publish that in international peer-reviewed journals. In this research we applied social network analysis to assess resilience of the four communities in the two regions. The four main applied research questions of the project are How does the social structure of the Svalbard economy and specifically the tourism business network of Longyearbyen differ from that of a comparable community in the Alps. Where are the functional consequences of these differences in relation to climate change resilience? Are such contextual differences related to the place tractable in the network structure? What are the most effective points of leverage for building resilience or changing the system? As preliminary results of the social network analysis, we found a quite centralized core in the Soselva Gotthard region with a high density of ties and quite good collaboration. In the Arctic community of Longyearbyen we find as well evidence of lower and higher resilience. Lower resilience regarding a lower density of ties and a lack of collaboration in between the actors. Higher resilience regarding innovative capacity and the higher tendency to form subgroups. Our experiences in Svalbard with the tourism sector have uh, given us some of these uh, insights. We um, noticed that the tourism actors are cooperating as much as they can, as much as they would like to. In terms of next steps, the project intends to do further data analysis, carry out workshops, publications, a second movie and a project extension to Arctic communities with Indigenous people as well as other island communities. Thank you for that you visit interest for our forskning project on Arctic and Alpine landområder. Vielen Dank für Ihres Interesse an der Resilienz vom Mensch-Umwelt-System hier bei uns in der Suselva. Mm -hmm.